Murder at 2626 Connecticut. Roll one, scene one, take one. And action. In this scene here, you see a close-up of Yolanda Davis going into Johnny Jackson's pocket and retrieving $300. And action. Keep jugging. Keep jugging. Okay, and cut, stop. Now freeze for a second. Look at the lens. This is a scene where Yolanda ferociously stabs Johnny Jackson. Uh, different articles were stating that he was, he was found with a knife wound to the chest. Uh, but in some articles, I found that he was stabbed like 17 times. So I wanted to go into that uh, part of it, of the report where he was stabbed 17 times and to understand and know why. So anytime you have someone that does this, that had to have been a buildup of prior incidents. Um, Yolanda Davis um, stated that she uh, did this in defense of herself. Johnny was very abusive to her and things of that nature, physically abusive to her. So in this scene here is where um, she's going into a rage of, 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 of the memories of how he used to abuse her. And at that time, she was apparently not herself. And then, and through other takes of it, when she's drenched up with blood, you start to see uh, that she starts to scream. The reason for her screaming is now she has snapped back into reality and she has realized what she has done. She's committed a murder. And not only committed a murder, it's who she murdered, Johnny Jackson, the ex-drummer of the Jackson Five. Say his name. She got to say, Johnny. Johnny, what? Why did you make me cry? You gotta go. Hey, Johnny. Okay, and cut. That part's good, right? Keep going. Action. Keep going. Get out of here. You gotta go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yes! Fuck him! Yes! Get up on him. Don't get me like this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm done. Yes! I can't forget. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Here I come. Murder at 2626 Connecticut. Roll two, scene two, take two, and action. Okay, guys, we, there's a call. Right? The officers responded to a 911 call. They were instructed to go out to that call and investigate the scene. So in this particular scene, you have me um, directing or having, where I start myself as one of the officers, um, instructing the two officers to go out to 26, 26 Connecticut, in which they would respond to the call, to the 911 call, and find the witness and interrogate him. So when you guys go there, apparently to me, it looks like the woman was not there, it's not there, the person is hysterical, he finds his partner down on the floor with a knife, wound to the chest, knife, you know, he's nervous. So we want to treat this like, She's not there, so he's the only one there. Hear what he has to say, but ask him questions, and pretty much treat him like he's the suspect. Okay. And that'll give you guys a chance to see what he has to say. Right. Okay. And then, you. as with that, with that, we'll gather the information the next day or so. We'll go back out to the house and possibly talk to some witnesses and and, and, and find out more. Okay. And try to put everybody's story together and see if there is going to be a possible match or matches. Okay. Okay. okay? You guys got you guys got any no problems? You know, call. You got my page. You got my cell. Yeah, you got the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, and uh, just let me know what goes on.
Okay. Okay. The squad car is parked right outside. All right. All right. Car three, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. So y'all be careful. All right. And let me know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Right. Car three. All right. Thank you. Right. You want to drive up? That's cool. Yeah. 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 And this scene here, where the officers arrive and they lift up the sheet, you see the body of Johnny Jackson. Murder at 2626 Connecticut. Roll four, scene four, take four, and we're rolling. Action. All right, start moving, start moving. In this scene here, you have is most likely later on that morning, I want to say seven hours possibly after the murder of Johnny Jackson, you have arriving officers uh, who's doing the homicide investigation of Johnny Jackson, played by me, Brian Pitts, Mervyn Jenkins, right. etc. cetera. Okay. We, well, we arrive on the scene hours later after the 911 call, and we're coming back to ask more questions uh, on the follow-up of the neighbor or the residents that was upstairs at 2626 okay, Connecticut Street. What happened here tonight? I was awoken by a lot of commotion that was going on downstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was hearing Johnny, you know, arguing. In this scene here, you see the two officers interrogating the witness, somewhat close to treating him as if he was possibly the suspect who did the murder. For upon them arriving at the scene, he was the only one found there and they could not find Yolanda, she was not there. And when did you call us, uh, was it an hour ago? About 10, okay. close to 10 or 30, I believe. And then what happened as you heard them arguing? I heard this heated exchange going on. Uh, was that Johnny and Yolanda? They uh, That was arguing? Or? It was Johnny, I know, and uh, mm -hmm. I believe uh, it was, I believe it was in on the yes. Okay, okay. Um, the argument was going on, and they suddenly they got quiet. I went downstairs to see if Johnny was cool, man. So I didn't see everything quiet down. And when I got down there, I got to the living room. I seen, uh, Seeing his body with blood, man. Okay. And that's when I called you guys. Okay. And when you when you went down there, you did not see Yolanda at nowhere there. She was nowhere there. Uh, I ain't see nobody. Okay. I ain't see no one. Oh. Okay. So well, right now this is going to conclude our investigation. Uh, we'll be back with uh, more of our officers, of course, to, on a follow-up of what we took here in notes. Uh, we'll give you our card and things of that nature, and um, we'll be we'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Okay, man. Okay. I'll... Thank you. <laughs> Murder at twenty six twenty six Connecticut. Roll five, scene five, take five. We're rolling and action. In this scene here, you have Yolanda Davis going to the Gary Police Station to turn herself in. The newspapers were stating that for a whole week the officers were out and detectives were out looking for Yolanda. Now they were looking for her in search of hoping they could find her. Sergeant Branson! Yolanda? Yes, 
glass. Yolanda, we've been looking for you. You know, it's a good thing you turned yourself in. I'm glad you did that. Yeah, because I don't have to run. I know what I did was wrong. You guys wasn't getting beat, I was. So do what you gotta do. Yolanda Davis, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. You also have the right to an attorney. If you do not have an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand the rights that I just said? Got it.
We're rolling and action.